Hello everyone. Welcome to Codex Tech Rust Learning Video Blog. In today's video, we will go over the CLI Task Manager from Gopher Sizes um, website. This will be the next exercise uh, in this series. Uh, idea is simple. Uh, we will be building a CLI tool uh, that will allow us to um, manage our to-do tasks. Uh, there will be few differences from um, the Golang implementation. Uh, for instance, the, how the CLI is uh, gonna behave and uh, some of the commands uh, plus the database that is used, but um, uh, the end result uh, should be pretty much uh, same. So before we um, uh, jump into the code, uh, I will, I guess, first show the output that we are expecting or the application uh, behavior. Um, so for that, let's uh, look at our um, console. So these are the CLI tasks. So this will be the output or the final product. Um, uh, at the CLI, it will allow us to perform three operations. We can add a new task. We can uh, list existing tasks, and uh, we can mark. We can mark a task as done or completed. So uh, for instance, right now, uh, I have one task already created. So if I do list, it will show that um, uh, this is one task, uh, ID is one, and the task description in there. And um, uh, before we jump into the code now, the last thing is about the database. So in the Go implementation, uh, I believe um, uh, Gopher Sizes was using Bolt DB. If I'm not wrong, that is a Go database. Um, I I did not find any exactly the same sort of database in uh, Rust. I know there is a new database, Surreal, Surreal DB, uh, but I haven't played with it yet. I probably will try to use it. It has different modes in memory and then distribute it, etc. But for this exercise, I wanted to use something simple. So I have decided to use the PickleDB. It's not an in-memory database. Uh, it creates a small database in the file system, but it's supposed to be very light, sort of like SQLite DB. So if you see here the CLI task, dot db that will be the database where um, we'll store our tasks so if i go back to the code now um, so it's very simple again we only use two two dependencies we are uh, using pickle db that i just uh, mentioned and we are using clap package um, that one, that crate is uh, just for building the CLI or getting the CLI um, commands. Uh, makes it easy to parse those CLI commands. So starting with the code on the top, uh, we have the clap, clap parser and then we have pickleDB. Uh, so we are bringing the pickleDB from the crate and uh, DB dump policy, that is um, how do we write it, and serialization method. Uh, other things are just very standard, like error and path. For the parser, um, uh, this is the CLI or the command line input that we receive. So I have this structure, and as I showed, we have three uh, different to do commands so add, done, and list. So we just created these three here, add, done, and list. And we just use the short, long, and the value parser, just a standard. Uh, next is the actual method. So we are 
it's starting with the reading the the user arguments from the command line and this is the database name so we can change it to anything as i showed we are creating cli task.db um, next is um, uh, we are then just reading so it's not running in a loop so every time when we want to run a command we have to execute the uh, our application with the required parameters so here we are just checking that um, if the user arg was add done or list we perform a uh, different operation based on the user input um, then we have these three methods so let's start with the add task so in the add task method we are first checking if the database exists so i created this helper method db exist uh, it should be uh, down here so we are just checking um, if if the database that file already exists on the path or not and we are just using the root of this application uh, as a relative path so so this helper method is used from um, all the other methods so we check the database if it exists then we are just loading um, the database that file in the uh, from the disk in this program and as part of the load we are saying auto dump so it will write automatically when we have the right statements and then uh, serialization method is json we want to store in the json format next we are going to um, find old task so this is a task done method. My bad. I was like, why are we taking all tests? We are, we are first looking at the add method. So let's scroll up. So add method, same thing. We are loading the database. Uh, I I guess I could have created a helper method for this as well. For you know, check if the database exists and then load a new. Uh, yeah, I could refactor this whole thing and create a separate method instead of just checking exist uh, anyhow so we are checking uh, if the db exists then load it otherwise you know create a new database for the first time use and in case of add uh, we will be providing two uh, inputs is in the string will be in the format of key colon value so we're going to split on the colon and again this is a very simplified version we are not expecting someone to have colon inside their actual task so this is just a key value pair um, so instead of generating our own internal key we are asking user to provide that key and uh, this is just a sanity check if it is more than two as i said like uh, we are expecting user to not have colons in the uh, actual task uh, description but if they still make a mistake we'll just uh, print that here in the print line data should be in ID colon value um, if it is a valid format then we call DB set that will DB dot set will write to the um, pickle DB so first is the key and then we have the actual value so key value we write to the database and then uh, we just print it out so this is again just to make sure the data was actually saved in the database i'm calling dp.get i'm pretty sure it's not really required because we know what was entered but that, that will just make it easy to be sure all the time that what we were writing has actually committed to the database next is task done uh, same thing we check if the um, database exists then we you know try to mark the task done but if the database does not exist uh, then we just show a message that db database does not exist so user will have to create a task first before they can mark something done and uh, here we are just calling um, on the existing task uh, we just mark it done so um, that is the only thing here is very simple so we mark it down and then we print the message um, next is list all, all tasks so we are 
checking just like task done the database exists or not if it exists uh, then we just loop through so we use a db dot iter we just loop through all the data in the database and uh, start printing it out on the console uh, which was the first thing i um, demoed in the beginning so let's go and um, check that part so we can do um, first again let's start with the help so we can say that um, what are the what are the actions that are available and then um, let's list it out first so we have one task so if I um, go back and see the task done so in task done we were calling uh, REM RAM so this is for removing the task so when we say task is done we will just remove it so let's let's I guess try with that one first so um, instead of list we'll say delete or done mark task done and um, and we have to provide the ID so we'll say one as task is marked done successfully now if we do the list again uh, there are no tasks available so when we say task is done we are just removing it from the list let's try to add a new task so and so saying my first task I can say again and let's let's try again something did not go well so, oh I forgot to put the closing double code so let's try again so I'll do this okay let's type it again so my bad So we'll say one my my first task again and make sure to close it this time and um, it successfully saved the data as we can see from the output the value of ID is one because after saving we are trying to get the value back and um, we can try to do the list again so yeah we can see um, uh, first task again and so we done add list and the last one is oh, we already done add done and list so all the operations we just tested they're working fine list add and done so that is it it was a simple exercise I don't think there was anything too complicated. It was just using the pickle DB, uh, learning about that one, and use it in the in the rest code. Uh, that is it for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.